All right, so we've used this phrase regional manager. Let me try to unpack that a little bit. What is a regional manager? So a regional manager has an exclusive marketing territory with our program at Financial Gravity. And then as an organization, we're going to help you build that territory. Again, from two aspects. Number one, personal sales with client development for yourself and then helping you to build your sales team so that you can impact more businesses in your area and increase the income stream for you. And that is really a systematic approach. It's almost business in a box and then all of your sales presentations, recruiting presentations, the slide decks, the scripting, um, PowerPoint programs, training online that's accessible to you, portal driven training. So everything that you need to access for an ongoing training basis for you and the team that we'd help you build is all there and it's included. That starts off, of course, by attending one of our training universities where our top producer in the country is going to teach you what he's done every day for over 20 years in the industry to be the number one earner in the business. And again, you'll have that opportunity of duplicating what he's doing. Secondly, let's unpack a little bit more about the industry itself. So traditionally what's happened in these two key market areas that we're talking about. Let's start first of all with the cash flow management and receivables management. So what's happened traditionally for the small business in the past is they've tried to deal with this issue internally themselves as much as possible. They work those accounts to death and when they feel they've given up and there's no way of recovery, they'll turn it over to a traditional collection agency. These agencies don't typically charge them a fee to work the account. They work them on what's called a contingent basis. So they'll work the account, send letters, make phone calls, affect credit, do whatever that's necessary to try to recover the receivable. And then that agency will typically take somewhere between 30 and 50%. Recovery ratios nationally are very dismal. About 15% is an average recovery rate of those dollars turned over. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that if I'm a small business owner and I have $10,000 in delinquent receivables, and I turn them over to an agency that's going to recover about 1500 of that and then keep out of that a third to half. There's not a whole lot left and the effort was problematic from two standpoints. One was the cost and ineffectiveness. The other is just customer alienation because those agencies, by the time they get those accounts, have to beat them up pretty strong in order to get some results. We're able with low fixed fees per account and no contingent fees whatsoever to work the accounts very early in the cycle. In fact, in some cases, we'll act as the internal staff, almost like an outsourced recovery uh, team to help out the business in their name as their staff and then move into the things that a third party agency can do. This allows the account to be worked earlier. Recovery ratios are about four times the national average and the collection cost or the net dollars spent trying to recover the monies is about four times less than the average fee structure. So all in all, that cash flow enhancement, getting the money recovered quicker, recovering more of it, and recovering it with less fees just plain makes better business sense. Now, on the tax advantage side for proactive tax planning, the question we always ask our small business clients is, hey, when's the last time your CPA contacted you and said, hey, here's four or five strategies that can save you tens of thousands of dollars in taxes. Typically never happens. That's because most CPAs and most people that prep taxes for small business owners do it on a historical basis where they're doing tax prep, not tax planning. So we come into that business and show them how to lower their personal income taxes because we're taking a preventative approach or a proactive approach to planning to make sure that you pay at as little tax as possible based on really four key areas. Number one is code. You know, there's 70,000 pages in the IRS tax code. The chances that your small business prospective client is taking advantage of every one of those is pretty small. So we're going to dig in, find the things they're not utilizing and help them plan on how they can to lower their taxes. Some of it is what's called shifting or timing. Can we take dollars that right now in that small business owner uh, plan is being fully taxed and move it to something that's taxed at a lower rate or taxed later uh, and shift it or time it. And then some of it's just product driven and we have lots of product concepts that can help from a tax advantage standpoint. The awesome thing for you is you're building this business system is that you're able to help the business owner in both areas of cash flow, making sure that business is running functionally with a good cash flow management strategy to manage receivables and then making sure once all those dollars are in and a profit is declared for the business, that that business owner is paying as little as possible, again, legally, ethically, and morally 
out of what those net profits are. I don't think there's two things you can talk to a small business owner about today. They're going to resonate more in their interest level. And that's where the financial gravity system can really make some results for you. So call Robert to get more information. Area code 615. Phone number is 972-8526.